Okay, so welcome to this video. And before we begin the video, please go ahead and watch Tim Ferriss's uh, TED talk on YouTube about defining the fears because a lot of the content will be from that video and it will be good for you to know the content, okay? Okay, so this is the actual sheet that I have combined using uh, Tim Ferriss's video plus my own knowledge. Now, in his video, he has this sheet, okay, where he actually lists the fears, but he has 10 fears and I have only three, okay, so it's easier to deal with three than 10. So, first, you want to define the fears, then, you want to prevent. So, write down what you can do, and then repair is if it actually happens what you can do to fix it and then moving on to page number two you're going to look at the actual benefits and even partial benefits of each fear uh, you know so if you tackle the each fear what kind of benefit you'll get and again it's only three here and then page number three is you're going to take a look at you know six months one year and three years the cost of inaction so emotionally physically financially vocationally and so on okay and the last page this is the exercise that i made this is my own exercise okay and we're gonna do this is where basically you actually rewire your brain from being fearful to being actually more calm and you use visualization and actual action activities to do so so one thing i need to mention is so the first three pages of this now i cannot actually give you the first three pages for you to download and use the reason is when i contacted tim ferris and told him that i modified his version uh, a, a person got back to me and they told me that I cannot use my modified version to give it to you okay however we can still do the exercise okay and we just do it on a blank piece of paper okay and then at the end you'll still get the last page because this is my own exercise okay so let's do this right now now as you can see this is the actual same exercise but this was just on a, a blank piece of paper in this case I actually had to make a line paper uh, because I did not have any paper but anyway so let's take a look at this okay so I have only two fears as you can see and the first fear is actually this course the 10 tips course and the second fear is not going to events or venues so for the for the course i said i have a fear of content not being good enough to match people's expectations meaning i would not be able to satisfy 85 percent of people which was my original goal okay or plan uh, okay so now the second fear is basically I always wanted to avoid going to events or venues where there be a lot of people which I do not know and my primary fear uh, is that I would be perceived as not accomplished as they are uh, career-wise as well as life-wise in general okay so how do I prevent this fear in the now let's say so for the 10 tips course i can ask the target market about what they want look at other similar courses like mine simplify the material being presented ask acquaintances what they think of my course prior to official release and then for the events and venues uh, to prevent appearing not good enough at the events i can say that I have accomplished some smaller things in, in, in the past and give them a few things that I'm currently working on to improve in the future. This way they will see that I am improving and I'll neutralize my brain 
from overthinking okay so we go down to repair and for the 10 tips course you know I could always gather feedback and refilm the course for better uh, to better match people's expectations and for the events and venues in the short term nothing bad happens since I just do not go you know to any events in the long term it will be probably hurt me since I could not meet someone who could help me in business or personal life I also could still go to an event but stay a shorter amount of time if I really don't like it okay so what are the benefits of partial success benefits of imperfect course okay so I will be able to release the course to the public faster when it is not perfect since I'm spending less time on it okay um, I will be getting feedback from people faster in terms of what they liked and did not like and what I can improve by releasing the course and interacting with people I would feel happier and more confident that I have actually done what I wanted to so there is definitely a positive outcome to this okay let's go to going to events so the benefits of going to events I might learn how how the events are actually hosted and why do people come since it is great to know people's motives I could meet people that could become my friends or business partners or anything else could happen so down here with every event I would have more experience and practice which will diminish my fear of being not accomplished enough uh, compared to other people now I put a note here saying that it actually may be the opposite where I am more accomplished than they are so uh, uh, also a lot of this fear is just in my head it's not real it's kind of made up and I know this but it's it's so real that it kind of gets me every time okay so let's go down so this is page number three of of uh, this exercise and we have the total cost of inaction so right now we're gonna take a look at the six months horizon for the 10 tips course I would never know how this course could actually help people if I don't finish it I would not know what opportunities may come because of this course okay so that's some um, information and then events and venues I'll continue to have fear of events which I actually do not want to have if I get invited to come to a private event then all the past events I have been to would serve as practice so I would feel more comfortable at, at this private event without being anxious so it's a it's you know it helps me in different type of events and then for one year or 10 tips course I put well if so much time passes without me having any feedback because I have not rolled out the course then I would be really pissed off because I waited and therefore wasted so much time and for the events I put emotionally I feel like I would miss a lot of fun that I could have had also I would lose many opportunities to meet people since that is really important in life I know I would regret that I did not go to any events especially when I had the opportunity to do so and then we move on to a three-year horizon and for the 10 tips course I wrote in the long term this course could lead to a totally new career which would never happen if I don't publish it, it now and start interacting with people so if I don't publish it this possibility of a new career could never develop but if I do publish it then you know new things will come okay so for the events and venues I realized that if I actually go to events for three years and learn how to interact with people better in different situations then I will no longer be scared of going to events okay so that that 
okay now this means that if i still don't go to events for three years then i would still have this fear which i don't need to have i could be fully you know i could fully eliminate this fear if i put the effort to do so okay so let's move on to page number four for this part make sure you write down the fear that you have selected at the top okay same thing here it's the same fear okay now you may have a bunch of fears but for me I have selected going to the events and venues now the reason I have selected this specific fear is because the, my first fear uh, making this 10 tips course uh, I'm kind of addressing it right now in a moment because I'm making the course and I'm sharing it with you and therefore I am addressing the fear okay so this is like an action for me so I'm kind of taking care of this fear and therefore I chose to focus on my second fear so for this for this one okay visualization practice what you want to do is you want to write one uh, first now you can write maximum of three but I suggest that you pick only one okay so here i wrote imagine how i'm walking up to different people and introducing myself to them and i tell them the work i do and my future plans and amount of practice time is 10 minutes okay and frequency of practice time is saturday and sunday morning weekly okay so when we go down to the actual action activities now this is the things you have to do so here again you can write three but i suggest you do only one okay so i wrote go to a party business event bedding or any other meetup once a month pre-book my calendar amount of practice time one to three hours per event frequency monthly one event per month okay so that's my um action that i have to take so at the bottom here you have some notes i have some notes that i put for you so for each visualization and action activity, select one to three you can practice with to begin the rewiring process. Now, like I said before, I suggest you choose only one. And start with low practice time and low frequency, which is comfortable for you to handle. So for me, as you can see at the top here, it's only, it's low. So only 10 minutes of practice time and only twice uh, per week I'm actually doing this okay same thing here it's only one to three hours per event and it's only once a, week, a month so that's why I mean low practice time and low frequency okay now after uh, some time passes here I said after one month yeah if you you can increase the practice time okay uh, first and then leave the frequency the same so this would be like six hours and for this it could be like half an hour and then when when this you know when you get more comfortable you know you can increase uh the frequency later while maintaining your previous uh comfortable practice time so you can increase this later on okay and basically what you want to do is you when you when you increase the amount of practice time or frequency you want to stay in a comfortable range okay and when you increase it increases so that like you don't fear you don't feel fearful okay you have to kind of feel maybe anxious uh but not too fearful to the point that you will not actually do it you want to still do it that's the whole point Okay guys, so thank you for your time and I hope you have enjoyed this exercise.